Hello everyone, thanks for subscribing and thanks for your love and support. If you are new to this channel then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button to get videos on whatever I post on information security. So in this video we are going to talk about OSCP or Offensive Security Certification. So it's one of the very popular certification in cyber security domain. So I'll be talking about who should do OSCP, what should be your preparation methodology and then we'll talk about what is the course exactly. So I'll be talking about the new OSCP that is updated in February 2020 and then finally I will talk about the price point and the last we will talk about the my point of view or my opinion for the OSCP. So let's get started. The first question is why you need to do OSCP. The simple answer to it is if you are someone who is looking for improving his penetration testing skill or if you are someone who want to know how to exploit a particular vulnerability utilizing various available exploit or uh, maybe utilizing different misconfiguration learn how to attack ssh how to attack ftp how to attack web server how to attack different uh, windows system linux system then then this particular course is for you you will also learn how to perform privilege escalation on windows system linux system ssh tunneling and so many different things if you are properly doing the oscp lab so it depends on what you want to do in your future if you want to learn open instant testing if you want to perform network attack if you want to go into application system and exploitation then OSCP course is for you again if you are not willing to do all of those things then there are multiple different choices like you can go for IoT line you can go for forensic you can go for SOC and so many different uh, ways are there right so OSCP is only for those who want to interested or who want to know how to exploit a system how to perform penetration testing how to perform enumeration uh, how to attack different services and many things so let's talk about the preparation for OSCP. So it depends actually which level you are, either you daily perform OA application assessment, uh, either you do network scanning, so what exactly is your daily activity based on that you need to prepare. Now I will be mentioning few of the basics that you must do in if you are going for OSCP. So the first thing is Linux basics, so you must know how to perform various operations in Linux starting from creating file, deleting file, updating file. Uh, you must know how to stop a service, how to start a process, how to kill a process, uh, how to update a file and all those things, right? So that this will definitely help you in your OSCP journey. Now the second thing is I would definitely recommend you to learn some of the Python basics uh, starting from creating a Python file, running a Python file and updating a Python file. So these are the essentials for OSCP. Now the next step is for you is to download some of the VM from vulnerablehub.com and start practicing them. So you have to download them up and use VirtualBox or VMware player uh, to load this particular downloaded VM and use the net configuration. Also you should have a Kali instance running and based on that you start attacking those VM that you have downloaded. Now these days there are also the platform like Hack the Box and Try Hack Me where there are different system. I am sure uh, you must be aware about that because I am running a series of videos on Try Hack Me. Uh, I will soon start a series of video on Hack the Box. So if you are interested then please go ahead and subscribe my channel uh, to will get a future update on those. So in hack the box there are multiple system. I will make a list of uh, videos separately on OSA preparation from hack the box uh, so that you get better idea. So then next you should learn from uh, some of the system from try hack me like people has already posted related to your uh, Linux fully escalation, Windows fully escalation all those tricks so you must go through i have also made a series of videos on nmap series that is one of the again basic essential that you must know if you are going for oscp uh, also i have made a series of video on network penetration testing name as offensive network security so you can go through i'll put the link in the description you can go through these videos you will definitely learn a lot so let's talk about the new oscp which got updated in february 2020 so they have added some of the system from active directory they have added some of the system from powershell empire they have also added some of the system for performing various attack on buffer overflow. So I'm sure that is really great. And if you are going for the course, then please do comment if you find them interesting. Uh, if you want me to make some videos on Active Directory, which I have already made some Active Directory animation videos. And if you want me to make some attack point of view, then please do comment. I will definitely make some of the videos. Also, if you want me to make some video on PowerShell Empire, then I can definitely go ahead and make it. So please do comment in the comment box so that I can get aware that you are watching my videos and I will start making videos on them. Now let's talk about the pricing point. So before jumping into pricing point, 
let's understand there are two kind of people uh, one who will be get sponsored from their organization or the company where they are working from so that they can complete the OSCP course and second are those like who pay their own and then go for the OSCP course so if your company is sponsoring then I will definitely encourage you to go for the minimum two months of lab access which cost around I think 1200 USD uh, also they have like three months if you can go for which is cost around 1350 USD right so that you can get a better time again the most important part is time how much time you are able to spend uh, on the lab machine to practice and learn right and next thing is if you are going from your own pocket then probably you should learn this vulnerablehub.com try hack me series system hack the box system and then go for the OSCP course right so download some of the VM and start solving them uh, if you are stuck somewhere then there are also some of the people who has published write up on those systems uh, another thing that they have done in this year is like earlier the price for re-exam used to be $50 but I guess ri right now it is 150 USD and also they have set like the minimum one month gap which was not there earlier so you have to be careful about that point also now in OSCP lab you will have the feature of revert like if you have messed with particular system then you can go for revert or if some exploit are not working then you can go for revert and then start attacking them again now let's talk slight bit about the interview process if someone is coming for interview and he has completed the OSCP then that you can ask to him uh, the person may have completed the OSCP two or three years back but right now he is working on some different field let's say he is working on web application security only so you should ask him question more of the requirement of the job role or requirement as per your organization do not ask him question like what or what system that you have solved in OSCP and all those kind of questions right so you can ask him like if you have uh, like which all interesting learning that you have done from OSCP and then allow him to explain it and then start asking if you want on this particular direction if you want him to like go further in the penetration testing and exploit. So let's talk about uh, my point of view towards OSCP. It is really great experience it will be definitely helping you to boost your confidence as a penetration tester. Also it will give you broad idea about how to utilize exploitation how the systems are there how you can compromise them it will give you different multi-dimensional thinking towards attacking a system right uh, but i still feel like uh, the exam is quite non-realistic because you might not get those kind of set setup in real life also like the chain setup for exploiting or compromising the system so that might not happen uh, i have seen uh, they have added this uh, active directory module this time so if they can add some of the system for active directory exploitation like one of the system i can remember is active from hack the box which has like uh, get user spn on some of the active directory kind of attack so if those kind of systems are there in the final exam also then that will be really great uh, but hopefully or they watch my videos or sometime they add those kind of system to final that will be really fun and one more thing is like i didn't like is they have increased the price i don't know why it is like still more expensive i would say if someone going from their own pocket then they have to go for minimum like 30 days which cost around 1000 usd quite expensive but still cp is a really great experience if you are utilizing the lab properly if you are learning practicing then definitely it will help you in your future also so i hope this video would help help you uh, to get some direction towards oscp so if you have any questions or if you want me to make some video on any specific then please do write in the comment box so then I get to know and I start making video on that. So again thanks for watching this video. If you have any question or anything please do write in the comment box. I will definitely reply. Thank you.